We will create the following 3D model using Katia V5. As you can see right here, I have what could be a cube. And that cube has two holes. One in this direction with this shape. And the second one in this direction with this shape. Okay, the first thing that we have to take into account here is the views because those are the ones that are going to provide for me the information that I require for me to create the 3D model. In this case, there is one mistake here and is referred to this view. As you can see right here, I do not have information about the measures within this view. So this view is not necessary and it should not be presented within the engineering drill, okay? If I want to show maybe how this could be seen, this this model could be seen maybe from this point, then I have the isometric view. This isometric view is, is going to show me more information that this view, this doesn't show me anything. So as you can see right here, this is a mistake. The second mistake that I can find right here is that these measures does not contain information about the unit system that it's using. Remember that when you want to create an engineering job, you must create a box right here, taking into account the, nor the specific normativity. And that box contains not only information about the unit system, but maybe also the material the person who did the engineering draw maybe the person who checked or maybe the engineer who checked it and whatever but because i do not have i do not have information about the unit system i can assume that these are millimeters remember that when you don't put information about that within the engineering draw then the person who is going to duplicate or maybe manufacture the model can assume that these are millimeters. Okay. At this point, I have to say that this engineering draw was made by Luis Miguel Guerfano Garzón. And we can continue doing the exercise. Okay. The first step that I should do is select one of the views for me to start creating the sketch. Okay. The first thing that we have to take into account here is that I'm going to select this view. Why? Because I have one, two, three, four, five measures. Uh, okay, right here I have also one, two, three, four, five. But these measures are going to provide for me the general information for me to create the shape. Okay? So I'm going to start by clicking in File, New. This is going to be a part, so part, enter. This is the tutorial 10, I think, within the channel. Tutorial 10, enter. And now we have access to the Katia V5 environment. I'm going to create a view. I'm going to say that this is my lateral view. This is my front view. This is my top view. Okay. Why is that? Because I want. As you can see right here, the person who did this engineering draw said that this is his front view. But I don't like it. I liked better this for me to be my front view, okay? So I'm going to start using the sketch option and I'm going to select the lateral view. Then I'm going to create a shape that looks like the one we need. I don't care about the measures yet. So this looks like maybe something like this then as I've said before I'm gonna check that I'm using millimeters so I'm gonna click on tools options uh, for example we are here parameters and measures units and I'm working in millimeters okay so everything looks fine then I'm going to create the constraints that I require for me to, to develop the sketch Right here I have this measure. Okay, this measure is not required. I wanna create the same 
measures that we have within the, the view. So right here, I'm going to continue by clicking on constraint, this option, this option, this option, and finally this. Then I'm going to use this option called edit multi constraint, and I'm going to start changing the measures that I just created. Okay, as you can see, I'm changing the value that is in orange, so this is equal to 20. And as you can see, the measures that I've changed is shown in cyan. The as I just said before, the measures that I'm currently changing is in orange, and the measures that I've not changed is in are in in green okay so in this case this is equal to 30 this is equal to 10 this is equal to 50 and finally this is equal to 40 okay okay once again okay and right here we have the sketch that we need i get out of the sketch then what i'm going to do is to use this measure for me to extrude the shape so straight and this is equal to 40 okay right here I have the 3D model that I require and what's left is for me to create this hole and right here I have the information that I need so I'm gonna start creating a sketch but selecting this face as you can see right here I'm on this face so I'm gonna call these two, okay, these three, well, these four lines, sorry, with this option. And okay, as you can see, I've projected the lines within the sketch that I'm currently creating, okay? I'm going to say that these lines are for construction purposes, so I'm going to select this option, and then what I'm going to do is to create a shape that looks like the one that I need. And this. Okay, I want that these lines are are visible, so I'm gonna select once more this option, and I'm gonna start defining everything I need. I'm gonna start looking for the center of this line, as you can see right here. It is showing it is showed by a point, so I'm gonna select this and finally this. And then I'm going to start using this tool, constraint option. I'm going to say that between these two lines is going to be a symmetry line. That is going to be this one. And between these two lines, the same thing. Okay. That means that this line is going to be between these two lines. So it, these two lines will always be uh, at the same length between the, this line okay then what I'm going to create is the measures so this is the one I need this is another one and finally this is another one okay and this one everything is defined since everything is in green and I'm going to change the values this is equal to 17 this is equal to 18, this is equal to 12, and this is equal to 24. Okay, everything looks good. And I'm going to create a pocket. Pocket definition, I'm going to select the sketch that I just created, and I'm going to select up to last. What this does is that the software uses the pocket until it finds a last plane okay in this case this plane this face everything looks correct and that would be all guys this is how you can create this shape using Katia B5